hello viewers hope you're doing well today in this video i'm going to create a navbar for the not logged in users so let's get started let me open here the react bootstrap website you can see here the official website of react bootstrap let me click on this get started button let me open this drop down and you can see the navbars let me click on this scroll down and you can see the navbar i will use this one oh let me copy the code okay and you can see we got an error in the console that is a navbar container nav is not defined let me import this navbar container and the last that is a nav from react bootstrap and you can see error removed let's go to ui and you can see the navbar let's add the css properties to move these buttons into the right of the screen so here in the headers package i'm going to create a new file with the name header.css and here i'm going to add the styling properties and you can see the styling properties let me add this class on the nav links so it will be a class name that is a nav link so first one we have that is a login and second we have sign up let me remove this extra nav link okay let me remove this href because we will use here two so here i'm going to add the property and it will be a link from react router dom and after that i'm going to add here the path to navigate the user to the login page when the user click on this login button so let me add here the path that is a slash login and for the sign up that is a slash register so i'm going to update the navbar title that is a not logged in and let me remove this href and on the top i'm going to import our tiling file so it will be a header.css and let me update the class name of the nav tag that is a ml auto let's go to ui and you can see the buttons are moved into the right of the screen and you can see here the title of the navbar let me make it strong okay let me click on this sign up button and it's not navigating let me check what is the issue okay so we need to add here the to instead of path now i'm going to click on this sign up button and you can see it's navigating us to the sign up component let me click on this login button and you can see the login component logged it successfully that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye